This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 14 computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP Chromebook computer 14 computer. Okay, before we start, some words about this model. HP makes two versions of the 14-inch Chromebook. One is called the HP Pavilion Chromebook 14, and the other one is called the HP Chromebook 14. The procedure for these is slightly different, but they use the same screen. Uh, we have a video, a previous video of the HP Pavilion Chromebook 14, and this video is for the HP Chromebook 14. Uh, the way to tell them apart is the HP Pavilion Chromebook 14 has a removable battery and the HP Chromebook 14 does not have a removable battery. So that's the best way to tell them apart. There's also a slight difference in the way they look and the part number, but the battery is the best way to tell apart. Okay, uh, so next step is to make sure that the computer is turned off. It, since it doesn't have a battery, you can't remove the battery to make sure it's turned off. So if the computer is turned on for some reason or turns on during the procedure, you do a long press of the power button. So you press the power button for two or three seconds and it turns off by itself. Finally, the label on the palm rest, this one says HP Chromebook 14. The other model will say HP Pavilion Chromebook 14. And let's look at one more thing. On the bottom of the laptop, there's a model number. This one is 14-Q020NR. So the all the Chromebook 14s will start with Q, and all the Pavilion Chromebooks will have a C. So it'll be model 14-C something instead of Q something. Okay, that should give you enough information to go on. So let's get started. Let me show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers, that's to remove any screws that may be stuck or lift up, lift up adhesive tape or manipulate any cables. And finally, a hobby knife or X-Acto knife, and that's to remove the screw covers. So the first order of business for this laptop is to remove this screen bezel, the plastic frame that goes around the screen. In order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove two screws at the bottom. And this part's a little bit tricky because they're hiding behind some screw covers. And it's hard to tell they're screw covers because they're shaped. So usually screw covers are round and you can tell that there's a screw hiding behind this, these. But these, it's harder because they're shaped and it's hard to tell. So what we're going to do is use our hobby knife or X-Acto knife to lift up these screw covers and to remove them like that and we see a screw hidden behind there and we're going to do that same thing for the other side like so. Uh, for me it was a little bit easier to remove them because I removed them once before. For you, if it's never been removed you have to do a little bit of work to lift up the adhesive but it's not too bad. Okay, once you remove the screw covers, next step you want to do is to remove the two screws at the bottom. There's one, and there's two. And for each step of the procedure, I like to put screws in a separate pile in the order in which they were removed, and that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I'm putting the laptop back together. Okay, next step is we want to snap off the screen bezel. What you want to do is use your fingertips or fingernails to find out where you can get a good grip on the inside of the screen bezel and gently lift up and out to snap the screen bezel off. And using this procedure, make your way around the screen bezel if you get stuck at a certain point, keep going beyond that point and come back to that. It'll be easier to snap it off 
at a later point in time. So we keep going around like so and we at the bottom there's another set of catches that hold the screen bezel so it kind of work the screen bezel back and forth until you can remove it like so. Once you do that we see that the screen assembly is exposed and at this point you want to remove the screen from the back of the screen assembly. There's four screws that you need to remove so let's take a look. There's on each side on the top there's two screws right next to each other you want to make sure you don't remove the wrong one. You remove the inner screw here and the same here you don't remove this one you remove the inner screw. When we do that we tilt the screen assembly back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall forward on you and remove the screws and once again start a new pile for this set of screws like so. Okay at the bottom let's take a look there's two bigger screws we leave those alone and there's a smaller screw on the inside we remove that one and the same on this side. Okay, once you do that, we gently grab the screen by the tabs and gently tilt the screen forward and lay it down. And we see on the bottom it has a connector and, and the adhesive tape on top of the connector. So we have to remove this connector from the screen and then the screen is free. So what we want to do is use our hobby knife to gently lift up the adhesive tape and work the adhesive tape off the back of the screen being careful not to damage the connector and pull it back and once again if you're doing this be very careful with the power button that you don't accidentally press it and if you do just do a long press to turn off the computer so once we remove the adhesive tape we can pull the connector back like so and the screen is free. Before we go on I'm going to reconnect the connector to show you how to do it properly. You slide it back in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up of it. Okay so pause the video pause the video right about here and this is what a properly connected connection should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, so once again, we remove the connector and look at this screen. This is a 14 inch slim LED screen. Um, this is a common screen and it should not be too hard to find. It has a 40 pin connector at the bottom and has mounting tabs at the top and at the bottom. Uh, the finish on this particular screen is glossy but sometimes it can either come a matte finish or a glossy finish and it's a matter of personal preference. Most of the time you'll get a glossy one but if you specifically want a matte you have to specify it. Let's look at the part number. Okay the part number is LP140WH2 TLS1. That's the part number you need to look up. When you do get your new screen in, most likely the part number will be different, but the screen will look exactly the same. Uh, we as screen surgeons have this screen for sale, and what you get with us is this toolkit. It comes for free with the screen. We have free priority mail shipping in the United States, and we have a two year warranty on the screen against defects and we have free email technical support. Uh, to order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out that will guide you to buy the right screen online and then you can order it. If you live outside the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the checkout procedure and specify which country you're shipping to. Okay, once you do get your screen in, Reconnect it as I showed you before. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two screws in at the bottom. Snap the screen bezel back on. Put the two screws in at the bottom. Put the 
put the screw covers back on and you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.